think if we can, as a country, we should have an, another look at the political party's law and see whether we can stop the elections of national officers in terms of electing them by the, by the ballots, universal adult suffrage and things like that. Because it costs us a lot of time, it costs us a lot of money. We saw what happened at the MPP Congress in Kofuridia. It eats up into the corruption narrative of our political system. Because the guy you are going to elect as party chairman is not going to be on the ballot to represent the party for the main election. He's not going to be a key driver for the people of the country in terms of determining what policy direction they follow when the party wins election. But you're going to spend so much money, so much time, money that you have to find, so much time to be able to elect him. If the president of Ghana wants Freddie Blaine to be the chairman of his party, and it means that he has to find money, then he will have to find that money. The money is not going to be part of his salary. People are not going to dash him the money. He has to find it. And if you are not careful and you are finding it, then you become a victim of the Franklin Kujos and, and, and all of those things. So all of that kind of thing eats up into the system. So if we can, we should begin a new thinking where you don't need to elect a party chairman. The flag bearer is the one you elect. He chooses a running mate. In the same way he chooses a running mate, he can choose a party chairman. He can choose a party general secretary. After all, why do we allow him to choose a running mate? Have we asked ourselves that question? Why are we allowing that individual to choose the number two? It means that we have given the two most important positions in the country to him. That's what really we've done. You, you elect him and say, choose your number two. 